Since I did my video on setting ATI mode on your Mavic 2, I've had a lot of emails and comments saying it doesn't work on Windows 10. So here's a quick update on how you can solve that. Welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. So if you head on over to my YouTube channel and scroll down and find my original video, if you check in the description, you'll find a Dropbox link to the DJI Assistant version 1.1.2. And it's the Win Assistant that you want. That's the one, so we just download that. Okay, now you just need to uncompress that. And install 1.1.2 of the DJI Assistant. There we go, that's all done. Now the app fires up, make sure you're logged in and that works fine. So now we're on 1.1.2, as you can see here. So if you now go to the Explorer on your PC, go to Program Files, x86, in the DJI product, DJI Assistant 2, click on App Files, and in here you'll find main.js. You right click and just say Edit. And it'll just open in Notepad. Now if you scroll down, you will find a commented out piece of code, which is, there we go, open dev tools. Just uncomment that by getting rid of the two slashes, save it, you can close that window now, start the DJI assistant again, and now we can see the dev tools are actually showing, exactly the same as they did before on the Mac version. So again, make sure you're logged in. Now you can plug your Mavic into the PC with a USB lead. There it is, it appears. That's good. Okay, let's make a bit more room there, see what we're doing. You need to go to the Resources tab and Local Storage File. And here we go. This is the Debug and Debug Enable. Just change Debug to a 1 and Debug Enable to True and that lasts for the length of the session that you're connected. These will just revert when you quit. So now you can close the developer tools, fire up the assistant, and if you scroll down, you'll find the parameters tab. And if you search for mode, these are the three function switch positions, not one and two. And you can just go in and change the value of these as I detailed in my previous video. And I'll leave links in the description to show you what the various settings mean. So you should be able to get that working with no problems on your Windows 10 PC. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then please do the subscribey belly thing to get notified when I post a new video. I'll see you next time.